Right, it's Ralph Fly again. Out for another little walk. This is a place I came last time. I walked from up there. And it's all wet and boggy. It's been showering on, on and off all day. Rain in the past few days, so everything's wet. And last time I walked up there. Um, but today, I've got another location to try out. A bigger woodland. Over that way. So we'll go up and over the side of the South Downs. And it should drop down into the woodland. I've got my sticky thing because it's very slippery today good few inches of mud this is a tame bit it was just puddles for the first bit up to here so we'll catch you when we get on to uh, well hopefully a location right we're a little bit further around now and that's the tree line where I set up camp last time and had a coffee couldn't find any trees except for that one that looked like an upside down um, octopus so uh, we're coming off the path a bit now that's uh, pretty much the top of the south down, we're on the side. So we're going to follow it around and hopefully this should, the path should disappear. Good look on the OS maps and there's no footpaths. Um, the woodland is like an island. It's not named, it's not got any public access. So, fingers crossed on this one. And you can see, I'm heading west. <laughs> And there's the perfectly good reason I'm knackered. Um, if you can see the houses over there in a the distance, I could have walked straight across the field to access that little mini vast woodland, uh, which is like in a valley and goes up the slope of the South Downs. But um, there's loads of houses, uh, farm and manor house on the left, and I didn't want to risk um, being seen walking across a massive field. The field's green and I'm in mixed camo. I'll just look like a, a shadow of a person walking across. So I came up the long way around. That's the top of the South Downs, I think the trig point's up there. So I've walked off that way, all the way around from right over there. Instead of going across, I can't see what I'm filming because the sun's behind me. I've walked all the way around and then across this way and back down like a big letter C. So, like I said, I didn't bring a map. I just sort of memorised it, the route I needed to go. I have to keep these trees here on my left, on my right, sorry. And then just up the other side, if I do camp overnight, I'm going to walk out and check out a little round circle of trees up the top. Um, hopefully, I'm out tomorrow with rain net for the uh, Eastbourne Half Marathon. And as soon as I finish there, I'm hoping to come straight back up here for a bit of a camp. Um, the woods are just like a, like a thin line all the way down. Well, not a thin line, a rectangle. And uh, from what I saw last time I was up here, looking down on it, it did look like there was a few trees for a hammock. Um, need to get in, get the pack off. I've got the two rocket pouches on my back and the webbing. Last time I had four pouches, today I've added two more pouches just for the weight. Carrying all sorts of crap I don't need to come out for a cup of coffee. But uh, it's good exercise. Got to try and strengthen up my legs a little bit. Um, well, I'm not cycling so much, so we need to drop down and get in there somehow, but it's covered by those bushes and shrubs, but we'll find a way in. Right, relatively new woodland from what I can make out, no big trees. Um, looks like a couple down there, I'm just in the outskirts, but uh, what the hell is that? About a metre square concrete with a massive iron ring for it. What the... F Frickin' jejeeters, would you want to chain up out here that requires a metre square concrete plate in the ground and a massive ring for the size of that? That's a huge concrete base. Okay, whatever it is ain't tied up anymore. So let's go and see if we can find it. That's the field I could have walked across. That's like half of it in view, and it goes all the way around that way, and then some more, and then it turns left after the tree line there. Continues all the way around to a, a racetrack and manor house. That part of the woods is fenced off from over there. I came in from the left. I'm just gonna scout around up here. Lots of um, badger dens. Something there the farmers dropped off at some point years ago. But this is like a bit of a clearance. Um, no sign of people. Been looking and checking things on the floor. 
just, just random stuff that's been like here for years. Bit of an opening here, if anyone's camped out before they would have camped out here. I know we've just done a circle. <sighs> right, we've just done a full circle of this whole area. And then back. Heading off out. But I don't like it. Don't like it at all. There's a bit of a frisbee over there. Yeah, someone's had a fire. And that ain't a bushcraft fire. Another little fire pit there. With rubbish on it. I think that was a frisbee. Yeah, we don't like it. Nice little clearing. Nice little opening. The fire is not that old. Well, we don't like it. And then my cost go to the next point, which is up and over that hill. Or oh, south down. No, I can smell that fire after just poking it. Yeah, that was fresh. And there's another one of those chained up point things. What the hell are they for? <sighs> oh well. Let's go. Decided to circle around. Uh, I was down there, went all the way back up and around. Back in this way. Turn the radio off. I found a hide. Just been up and checked it out. Just timber up there. But that's a nice advantage point if we're looking down through the woods. So obviously someone's been here and built that. Um, we're going to keep going. I've got a PMR radio on. And there's some kids in there just pushing the call button constantly. Oh, why don't they just talk? So I put a call out for someone locally who said that they have the Radio 1 monitoring today. And the kids just said to me, this is a private network, can you please disconnect? I said, it's not a private network. Don't you know what the P stands for on PMR? Plus, how do you disconnect from a frequency? It's not like you can unplug anything. But uh, yeah, oh, the kids using radio, it's great, getting them into the hobby. But manufacturers, can you please take away that call button? They think it's the P to T button. And all they do is keep pushing call. Oh. <laughs> right, ran over. I was sweating from all the ups and downs. Trying to set down some and just have a brew. I've got to try out this gasifier. I've had it about a year. <sighs> and I need a cigarette. Okay, I've magically appeared on the next hill with another sheep. I did see the names of the hills when I came out, but I've forgotten now. This is like, oh, that's a three letter word, and then hill. I can't remember, <laughs> but it's the one with the water crater thing in it, the water thing. And then, down there I think I can hear the motorbikes in the quarry or the track. And over there's the bunker I pointed out last time. I think there's two over there. And then there's another quarry behind them. But uh, I want to keep walking. It's time to get to the top. I just want to go back now, I'm knackered. I've just zigzagged all the way along there, up and down, up and down. And I could have just walked across this field. <laughs> But yeah, if I walked across there, I'd be seen. And you know, that's, that's someone's field for the sheep. And again, zigzagging into the sun is great if you're being followed. Not that I'm being followed, but you never know. Right, I'm gonna battle on. I need to get some weight and a coffee. It's starting to get shaky now. And uh, I've only got a couple of hours to be honest before the sun starts going down. Right, onwards and upwards. See that sheep? All well, looking at me strangely, like they've never seen a guy with a phone before. Ugh. Right, slightly higher up, can't see a thing on my phone. Zoomed in a little bit, that's the water thing. I can see the go-karts going around the track. Uh, the entrance to the bunker. And then I can see the quarry over there. Um, I forgot to mention to myself that the other woods I wanted to check out were well, actually on top of the South Downs. 600 foot ASL, and I'm about 550. So uh, yeah, not long to go, and there's a small circle of trees up there, which is better to get to if you walk across from the other direction, it's flatter, and a nice straight path. But I just, but there's that field. I started down there, walked all the way around, and I could have just walked through it. Oh shit, I, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have a walk up. Oh, there's the ones I went to last time, I think. Um, right, that way, hit towards the sun. Well, we're on top. The trees you want to check out. Trees. You can't tell from Google Earth. The only way you can actually see is by getting out and looking. And that ain't funny, man. 
I just walked all the way up to oh, that's the trig point just up there I'm sure it's 6, 6, 20 feet ASL that ain't funny man, that ain't even no trees <laughs> this is a circle of bushes so on to the next lot over there I ain't going up there that's literally where I stood last time and done a 360 I'm going that way when I go home Never one of those octopus type trees. I've got to learn the names of trees, man. Woo. Right, let's just take point luck and drop down. Start at the top. I normally like to drop in the middle of places. We're going to drop in the top of this woodland today. There's a few scranny little trees. We'll have a butcher's. As soon as we're here, spend two hours walking up and down and around the South Downs. Might as well have a little look. Whew. Yeah, man, I'm tired. Well, not tired, I'll just go for a walk, they said. It'll be fun. Right. Time to brew up. Let's find somewhere to sit down and brew. Brew, 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 brew. We're in the middle of it now. Man, I've got to say, this place is shit for camping, man. Look, nothing's straight, nothing's flat, nothing's level. I know it's a hammock and I need flat ground, but I'll just be... Right. Sit over here. Bottom jaw for a sheep with teeth. But there was a bottle up there I've just passed. Yeah, up there. And I've just kicked the bottom of a pint glass. Check this out, right? That's the bottom of a pint glass. What the hell is a bottom of a pint glass? It might even be a bottle actually. But now there's broken glass everywhere up here. This is supposed to be like designated nature walking places. It's just full of rubbish. The other place I found um, a lens of someone's sunglasses. And uh, I don't even want to have a brew up here. But I'm going to make myself have one because I need one. And uh, yeah, not going to like the gasifier. Just going to use a mess stove quick and easy and get out of here. This place sucks. It's rubbish everywhere. And it's crap. Right, I'm still going to enjoy it though while I'm here. <laughs> right, water's on. That's the uh, new, well, half of the wood stove. And then the mess pop can stove is inside. It hasn't blossomed yet, I've only just lit it. But, uh, yeah. Give it a few moments, I think. Alright, look at this. The gasifier is gasifying from the popcorn stove. I've got jets coming out all the holes. So, though I've never used that for wood yet, I'm very impressed how well it works with the popcorn stove. Yeah, the jets are working from the popcorn stove. That's an awesome bit of kit. 12, 13 quid for one of those things. Recommended. Trying to look for the viewfinder at what I'm doing <laughs> and not spill this is a bit of a pain. But we can still chill out for half an hour and have a sit down and coffee, get the old binocs out and check out the view. main thing is hydrate I've been sipping water on the journey but um, yeah normally I have two sugars but I've got two in a bit and it's a little bit more coffee in there than normal just to uh, re replenish what I've used getting up here it wasn't a straightforward walk straight in a, in one line but like I said I zigzagged <sighs> and uh, yeah it knackered me out man <laughs> and there's the uh, webbing to for six packs and uh, the two pouches, my admin and my clothes. Well, it's my brew kit admin and clothes in there, body warmer, hat, gloves, all that stuff. And I've downed the uh, hat, keep the heat in, and this because it's a bit chilly up here with the wind. Um, I have got on a t shirt, shirt, but uh, yeah, I've got the shakes a little bit from not having any sugar left. Right, well, um, I'm going to put a call out on the radio while I'm here. Right, coffee's finished, battery's going low, I've been sitting here for a little while with a binox, checking out my exit point, and um, it's just straight down there where I started from, and I'm going to head back down to the woods I was scouting around, where that metal thing is, the farmer dumped, or whoever dumped it, and I'm going to follow the tree line all up the side of the field, and then just dart straight across. Um, it's raining over there, the clouds are getting darker, and it's spitting air, so uh, yeah, I'm not hanging around. Um, finish the coffee, gonna pack up, put everything away and 
and get out. It was a nice little spot here to sit though, um, and sort of look out with the binox and see the go-kart track and the windmills. Not a bad little view actually. Right, I'm going to pack up and scarper. Um, no point in staying around getting wet. Right, leave no trace, that's why I had the stove by that little tree. Uh, webbing rocket pouches were there. I've got my radio, my stick. Gloves on, hat on, body warmer on, because it's kind of cold up here. Wind's changed, and it is coming from the east, the wind. So, yeah, it's a cold wind. Um, right, we're going to start heading down, straight across the field, and uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Right, we just got into the trees that I first came to see, but it's on a complete slope, and you know, it's dangerous. And um, I need to go back where I came, which is full of the rough path zigzag through that clearance to the bottom or I can go straight down there which is quite a bit of a drop you can see I'm looking straight forward now so it drops straight down very cluttered underfoot lots of trees and oh, listen, I'll just jog down here I'm gonna go for that I'm just gonna run all the way down um, but I'm gonna put my phone away because this ain't gonna end pretty <laughs> but I reckon I can get down there quite quick like literally under a minute or I can spend 20 minutes walking around the safer route yeah, we don't do safety. Let's do it! Yeah! <laughs> Feeling brave. <That's> nice. <laughs> if you try and stop running, you slide all the way down. So you literally have to run. Run into a tree to stop you. Run to the next one to stop you. Because if you try and stop, you literally just slide all the way down. Check this out. Straight to a tree. That's to stop you. Oh, I missed the tree. Into that next tree. Plan the next tree, next tree is over there. Right, we'll head for that one. Okay, that's left around the foot. Next tree. Ow. This would be a good advert for GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm glad I've got shoulders. Alright, we're back down the bottom now. <laughs> I think my head needs to look that I just stopped to ride a fag because I just came out the clearance where that metal thing was. Jumped the fence to walk back towards the van. And that's probably two, 250 foot hill. And I've just done it, gone down it in about four or five seconds. So that's the quick way off the side of a mountain. Seriously, my, my elbow and shoulder is probably battered and bruised to pieces. But I've literally just got to follow this tree line. And exit point is just the other side of this green. And it gives me a chance to survey this woodland that runs all the way lymph um, that I first came to see. But it's just, the whole thing's on an angle. You know, it's pretty much the same as what I've just ran down. And I wouldn't rather wake up, fall down there through the night. Never sheep's head, skull, lamb. Right, well I'm going to have my fag and take a gentle walk after the battery and bruising I just gave myself. But I have to say, as dangerous as that was, that was extremely good fun. I need this now. Right, we're back to the point of entry, my exit. Van's just gone there. I walked all the way through those trees. Up that hill through those trees, across that hill, dropped down, dropped up and down, up and down so those trees, then went all the way up over the other side of those, the other trees, just scooted across that field, didn't like it, so exposed, really, really exposed. And uh, you can see the farm growing the land, and the two guys just standing there by a barn staring at me. And so I was in the middle of the field, so they couldn't ID me, but they probably wondered what I was doing. So, yeah, didn't like being that exposed. Um, thought there was actually a gate over here, the gate's on the other side of this fence on my left. And there's one between us, so I've got to jump a fence. Not be about it, but got to do it. Um, shouldn't really be on this land, really. A lot of sheep in it, but I did keep away from them. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe and don't uh, run into trees.